In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, the Northwestern crying kid. I don't know if he has a name yet. I know he's a meme, but I don't know if he has an official name yet, but I'm gonna call him the Northwestern crying kid for now. If you're watching March Madness like I was over the weekend, you saw that Northwestern won their first basketball game in their school history in March Madness. And they almost beat the number one seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs in the second round. However, the best part of the game wasn't the game itself, it was the reaction of one of Northwestern's most loyal fans. You see, when things started going downhill, this little blondie, I think he was about 11 years old, really took it to heart. And he let his emotions show for the world to see. It's an easy call when that elbow oh gets... Oh boy, he's back. <laughs> oh jeez, poor kid. The TV crews obviously ate this up and panned back to him something like 23 times throughout the game. And it was a roller coaster of emotions from devastation to devastation to devastation to a little bit of hope to devastation again. A lot of people were making fun of the poor little chap and a lot of people were embracing just the sheer raw emotion. I'm one of the people that can just appreciate the sheer raw emotion. Whoever said it wasn't okay to cry, whoever said it wasn't okay to be passionate about something, I respect somebody that can be that passionate, that loyal to their team. So good for you, crying Northwestern fan, for letting it all hang out. You were me when I was in fifth grade. This is a true story you can ask my family. Anytime the twins lost, I would start crying, and I would go lay in my hammock at my cabin and just bawl, and I would vent to my dad about how the Cleveland Indians had too high of a payroll, and baseball wasn't fair, and life wasn't fair, and then the next day the twins would win, and I'd be happy, and then they'd lose. The next day I'd be crying again. Being a Minnesota sports fan, I'm used to having these emotions inside me, and sometimes I wish I could just let it all out like this kid did. So thank you, crying Northwestern fan, for making it okay to cry, because my gophers lost in the first round, and I felt like crying too. That's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.